So, so for everyone watching my channel, um, <laughs> welcome to emotopix.com. Um, I'm going to turn this on. Or emotopix, the YouTube channel. Um, subscribe, like. Um, we're going to be doing what's called rear cut and shutter, um, but it presents us with certain challenges today. And the shot that we're looking for is that iconic shot where you've got the traffic whizzing by either side, and then you've got the freeze frame of the person in the centre, hopefully pin sharp. But the problems that we've got is we don't want the flash to fire at any drivers because we don't want them to think they've got a speeding ticket or that they are in trouble for any reason, or we don't want to annoy them or distract them, obviously. Um, we don't want to get in trouble with the local authorities we could do without um, spending the night in a police cell because I, I, I like my bed. Um, so, so there, there's the problem. So we're gonna we're gonna take a bit of a drive around and see what we can find, and we'll catch up with you soon. Okay, rear curtain sink. Well, the idea of this is to take a long exposure. Then just as the shutter is about to close, your flash will fire. Anything that the flash hits will then be frozen on top of the motion image. The reason for this is it allows you to get the motion and the drama of the composition, yet have a calm element of a still amongst the same composition. Okay, so um, we finally found a location. Um, not ideal. Um, it was Paul's idea. He wanted to come here. <laughs> um, he said, go to the bypass, because that way we can run if we get into trouble. Um, which is wise, I suppose, but it's, I don't think it's going to lend itself to composition too much. It's a bit, um, it's a bit bright, yeah. Okay. So, um, so what we're going to do is, um, we found an overpass local to where we live, out in this little town called Aston Clinton, at the top of the hill. Um, and we're going to hopefully capture the traffic moving below the overpass and get a long exposure on that to get the lines blurring whilst getting a clear shot of us using the flash central on the overpass. So we'll see how that goes anyway. So um, have a little look, see what we think and don't forget to like and subscribe and um, I'll speak soon. Bye. So what, what are you thinking Steve? I'm wondering whether that's the right composition. Uh, I like the way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna unplug this because we can't hear you otherwise. I like the way the fog comes down um, from the lights, but I don't know how that's going to be affected in the long exposure. I don't know well enough whether we'll see that or we'll see it even more. I'd imagine we'll see more starlight images on the on the lights, and there's a lot of lights up there. So if we can yeah. get the camera kind of low enough. Do like a hero shot, maybe rather than an overhead shot. What's the hero shot, Steve? That's where the camera's looking up and it's the person's looking all big and powerful. Okay. So we can do a hero shot and then we'll have the start. Sorry, say it again. A hero shot. Okay, just one in, yeah. And then we'll have the, these all kind of starring out in the background and hopefully capture some streaks going past the cars as well. It could be quite a nice composition. But only time will tell. Should we set up? So whilst I set up, let's just explain exactly how you get this to work. The idea is you attach a trigger to your camera and then you go into your camera settings, you look for off camera flash settings and you change the settings to rear curtain sync. Once this is done, the flash will fire at the end of your long exposure rather than the standard beginning of your exposure. But so we find out this doesn't do rear curtain sync. So we have a little bit of an issue in the fact that this trigger, uh, with its compatible flash, does not work for rear curtain sync on a cannon. But Steve has an idea. I think that if we use this as a slave, because Canon will still use the onboard flash of the camera to fire on rear curtain sync. So if we access that and set that up for rear curtain sync and then set this up as a slave, technically we'll have a rear curtain sync slave, which should do the same job provided this isn't too powerful to light the sink. So turn the power down on that, turn the power up on that and use it as a slave and put it on rear curtain sync. Maybe. Well, it did work, as you can see, but practice will make better images. Anyway, if you've liked what you've watched, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.